Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. Today, joined by a very special guest is Chris Voschel uh, from Mizuno. He's with us today. Uh, we're talking about the new JPX 923 hot metal irons, um, but in this video in particular, we're going to go over and compare it to the previous generation yep. JPX 921. So, you know, Mizuno irons are always uh, a blast for us as, mm -hmm. as a, you know, with the fitters here at Second Swing, always kind of geeking over new Mizuno irons. And I think you mentioned this before, but Mizuno, you typically think of the players' irons, the MP line. But the last few years, this hot metal series in this family has been making some serious noise in golf and in the fitting base here. You're exactly right. I mean, what the hot metal has done for Mizuno is unbelievable. I mean, it's, it's increased our size just as a company overall. Yeah. It, it's really been a great thing. And honestly, the reason is because of what it does in the hitting base, mm -hmm. because of the numbers it can right. generate. So we're super excited about the 923 hot metal because 921 did a lot of great things utilizing the chromoly material. Now we're actually, we changed that material up a little bit. It's still a chromoly, but now it's actually what we call a nickel chromoly, which is 35% stronger than the previous mm -hmm. generation, which allows us to go even thinner on the face, move a little bit more mass around to make it more forgiving, make it launch higher and land quicker. Mm -hmm. So it's a really exciting launch for us. And it comes in three different versions. So for different players who want to get fit with different right. ones who have different needs from the, in terms of launch windows, a lot of fitting potential there. But to ultimately, we want to prove it out. So this is a great test to be able to, to compare it to the previous generation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mentioned the, the three models. We do want to highlight, you know, on the channel already, there are the swing report videos where we look at each of the models in particular. And that high launch one, like uh, with the 923 series, is going to be awesome to pair with for sure these hot metals. Uh, but being that it's the first year of that, we can look back at the hot metal series here yep. with JPX 921 and 923. So uh, talk to me about, I guess, in this test, what do you think you're going to see in the numbers? Because we're going to have Thomas come in and hit, mm -hmm. and he's going to swing at not his normal seven iron speed, a little bit right. less to kind of, you know, fit the average golfer that might fit into these. So, what do you think we would see in the testing between the, you know, the two models here? Yeah. So there's a couple things that were our design intentions that we pulled off really well with mm -hmm. these. So first, because I, as I mentioned, that new material that we use, we went thinner on the face. Thinner on the face means hotter ball speeds, it means higher COR and a larger core area. I will point out, it's a half a degree stronger. Okay. Half a degree, so you'll see a little bit of boost because of that, but on top of that, the COR is up on that. So I would expect the ball speed jump to be greater than you would expect from okay. just a half, half right. degree in strength. But from there, we did a couple of other things. Because we went thinner on the face, because we were able to do that, we moved more mass deep. That deeper mass means higher launch, means a little bit more spin, so a steeper landing angle. Mm -hmm. So if you can combine more ball speed with more height and more landing angle, man, it's a fitter's dream to be able to get in people's hands. Sure, well, let's bring in Thomas here now. We'll have him hit some shots, and then we're gonna break down this data and see just what kind of gains you get from the 923 models versus 921 here. I'm excited to see it. There's a jump. Was it a club speed jump or was it? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was a little more ball speed, that's for sure. Took a little off that. You did? Yeah. It's still, it's still fairly high. It's still way up there, though. Ooh, well, look at that one. That's tasty. Look at how straight that ball is flying. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All right, so Thomas, you just hit, we got seven shots with each, the JPX 921 hot metal and the 923 hot metal. Um, first of all, you hit both of them. Uh, let's talk about, I always, you know, I want to get your look and feel kind of uh, opinion first. So did you notice anything different about the look and feel of each of those? I mean, they're pretty darn close, yeah. honestly. I mean, if I was to be picky, maybe a touch, touch thinner on the, on the, on the top line, but yeah. they, yeah, they're they're pretty darn close. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But what what I did notice is it, it just felt like it was a little more explosive about the face. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Well, and the numbers definitely bear that out. Uh, so I think one of the things you mentioned looking for was ball speed, right? Yeah. And now the the nine two three is half a degree stronger in loft. Correct. Uh, but we were looking to see if the the ball. Sp the ball speed increase was actually going to be kind of more more noteworthy than just a half a degree, right? Right, and exactly. So we actually 
Thomas swung a little slower <laughs> with the 923. Right. I mean, fractionally, right? At 6.6 yep. uh, miles an hour, but still got almost an entire mile an hour faster at ball speed. So I feel like that's a pretty noteworthy. Increase. Absolutely, it is. So again, like like you said, you'd expect a little bit faster ball speed with stronger loft. Yeah. But what I want to point out more than anything is not only did ball speed go up, but launch angle went up. Mm -hmm. To me, those two things, those usually counteract each other. Yeah. Ball speed is up, launch is down, or, or other way around. So to have that increase in both, that speaks to an increase in COR, mm -hmm. and in, increase in explosiveness off of that face. Right. And then another thing too, we talked about there's an increase in spin. With That's the, what amazes me. The right. fact that it's half a degree stronger, because mm -hmm. you know, most of the time it follows loft, right? Generally right. spin is gonna follow the amount of loft that's on yeah. the golf club. But we've got a club that's half a degree stronger in loft, but it spun 400 RPMs more. Yeah, and it and was that is also important. more consistent too. Your kind of deviation there, plus or minus, uh, was a lot tighter with the, the 923 hot metal. So you're still getting great performance, great launch. We also need to talk about, you know, a steeper landing angle, mm -hmm. uh, higher peak height with the 923. So a lot of these numbers that we are really going to look at here, they're getting uh, good increases from the 923 model. And you talk about the COR, you talk about the yep. uh, adjustments made to the, you know, the V chassis and things like that. Seriously, you're seeing some results here with that. Absolutely, and, and there's a couple things you really want to focus on too. I mean, depending on where you look, you know, if you look at the actual carry distance, carry distance is down a touch, yeah. but that's not necessarily a bad thing because it's getting there properly. It's getting there with a better landing angle, and actually the difference between the carry and the total is tighter, which right, you'd right. like on a seven right. iron. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, with your speed, there's no way you want a seven iron to hit and release. So to me, those are actually, those are much better numbers. It's much more optimal. Yeah. Right. Especially yeah. with where Thomas is at with his game, and I think we've mentioned it, like, there's no need for you to right. hit the ball set 200 yards with a 7-iron. Yeah. Um, for the sake of the test, obviously, that's what, that's what happened. But, you know, for your game and, and for most players, you want precision with irons. You don't want just straight-up distance. I think we're seeing that in the fitting bay. That there are some players that look for distance a ton, but they do sacrifice some precision when they go that route. Here you kind of get the best of both worlds because he's still hitting the ball super far. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it's not like <laughs> yeah. we're losing a ton of distance going no. from 921 and 923. You're probably gaining distance overall on a larger sample of a test. And obviously the spin being high enough as it is, that's definitely increased. Landing angle's steeper, height uh, higher in the air. Really good stuff here. Well, and it's test. important to point out that we're looking at seven iron numbers. You know, as you, as you extrapolate that through the set, that steeper landing angle is a great thing. That means that that six iron you maybe struggle with, or that five iron mm -hmm. you maybe struggle with, all of a sudden now it's landing at a proper angle as well. So this set, it's a better set, honestly. So it makes it easier to fit players in and make sure they have usable clubs from top to bottom of the bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. And for this test, it's a test. It's a comparison of two heads. I was swinging about 87 miles an hour. It's slower than I would normally swing my 7-iron. Yeah. I tried to swing a little slower, maybe swing as slow as I wanted to. <laughs> but you gotta keep in mind, this is a comparison. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what you, apples to apples here, you can take away is the fact that even with a little less speed, I was still getting plenty of stopping power. I think yeah. that's oh, the yeah. only thing. Yeah, and then we should also know, I'm just gonna bring it up. We got the dispersion to look at too. So yeah. we've got a tighter and kind of more centered, mm -hmm. uh, you know, dispersion circle here for the JPX 923 hot metal. Uh, and look at how many of those shots are right on the center line there. Yeah, um, and, and honestly, mm -hmm. that, that's because of some of the things we were able to do. You know, you, you hate to keep contributing it to a metal, but because we have that stronger metal that allowed us to go thinner on the face, that's mass that would have been in the center of the club head that mm -hmm. now we can put around the perimeter, now we can put in the back, now we can put to the toe and heel, allow that club to be more stable. So even though, as you said, it looks very similar to dress, there's actually, it plays like a bigger golf club mm -hmm. because it's more stable, more MOI built into mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Well, Thomas, I think this was a really good test and I think we definitely see, well, for number one, the JPX 921 hot metal, still a really good performer for sure. in its own right. Uh, you know, it's gonna be a great option for golfers uh, in the you know, rest of 2022 into 2023, maybe looking for like a, a nice value of a game improvement set to you know, increase uh, their performance with their irons. But, the 923 model, we definitely saw the increases that we wanted to. The mm -hmm. ball speed is more, you know, more efficient strike with the smash factor, more ball speed, launch angle, spin rate. Uh, it's all increasing and giving golfers better performance. And that's exactly what you guys set out to do with that set. Absolutely. When you're engineering a golf club, you have a certain number of goals that you're trying to hit. And usually it's, it's easy to hit a couple of them, but you almost sacrifice something else. 
by unlocking that new nickel chromoly, honestly, I feels like every aspect of this golf club improved. Well, Thomas, thanks for hitting all the shots today. Really good test here. And then Chris, thank you for joining, giving us the insight on the new JPX 923 Hot Metal Irons golfers. If you're interested in one of those iron sets, you know what to do. You can schedule your fitting at Second Swing. One of our experts will take care of you, get you into a set of 923 Hot Metal Irons and start playing better golf.